Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all getting safe. So I have a really quick video today on this new feature on the Xiaomi Mi Mix Fold that I've been waiting for, for ever since I had got the phone basically. So first of all, you might notice that the footage and my sound may sound a little bit different right now. That's because I got a brand new camera. I am shooting this on the Sony a7C with a Sony 20mm f1.8 lens and I'm using a Rode shotgun mic. This is a, an upgrade over my previous setup which was a Sony a6500 or sometimes a Sony ZB-1. And I'm mounting this on a freaking chair right now with the Joby Gorilla Pod. It's actually, this setup is actually pretty expensive because you know cameras are just expensive in general but I, I think it's gonna be worth the money because I need it to for work to upgrade my um, cinematography basically. So you see right now, it's just clamped on a chair like this. Anyway, this video is getting off topic. Let's get back to the main point. So this is the Xiaomi Mi Mix Fold. If you don't know what this phone is, this is Xiaomi's new folding phone. And you will probably be thinking this is very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 in design and look. And yeah, it's pretty similar across the board. Using these two phones will give a pretty similar experience with only one major difference. That was when Xiaomi introduced the phone. It, it showed off this thing called PC mode, which turned the UI into a desktop UI. Unfortunately, when I got the phone, it was not available at launch. But yesterday, just randomly, I was on a train messing around and I accidentally swiped through the phone with three fingers and then PC mode actually kicked in. And I was like, oh shit. And I asked my girlfriend to immediately film me doing it and I uploaded it to Twitter and I got quite good response so I guess a lot of people are interested. So anyway, let's just show it off really quick. So this is the normal Xiaomi Mi UI. You know, it just it's basically like a blown up phone screen but you swipe across with three fingers, it will jump into PC mode and now you have a desktop interface. But when you tap in there, you see you have a start me um, menu kind of like you're using a PC and then when you open an app, it actually opens in a smaller window and it's quite hard to do this like this. And you can move the window around and resize it. Anyway, let's set up the camera at another angle and I'm gonna show off the PC mode a little bit more. Okay, so now you have a better look at the PC mode UI. Like I said, you press on the lower left button, you get this little start menu that allows you to open apps. And then you can you know, play YouTube video, for example, and then you can also open up, and then you can open up WhatsApp too. So you can open up three different apps at once. And some of these windows are resizable. So right now I'm using a mouse arrow. I don't know if you can see the mouse arrow here because I'm, I've connected a Bluetooth mouse. But you can also do this with your finger, but it's quite difficult to do with your finger because your finger's a little bit fat and you need to grab just the exact edge. Oh, I did it. But trust me, it takes like five, six tries sometimes. So let's look at the rest of the bar. So the apps that you have opened already, they're gonna be stored down here in this little taskbar. You can also pin specific apps to the taskbar. So if I open up Slack, for example, and I long press down here, I can say pinned to taskbar. So I'm gonna do that because I use Slack for work. So now I have Slack here always ready to go. And over here, if you tap on this little arrow, it opens up basically the equivalent of a smartphone's a swipe down shortcut toggle. You tap your battery time and calendar so it's like very pc window looking you tap here obviously notifications and a notification or slides over from the right side just like on a pc or on a mac and then you have three buttons here these are you can probably already guess these are the traditional android navigation button you tap on this to go into app overview you tap on this little square to back out of anything to go home immediately or you tap on this to back up one so the l button so like I said, I've already connected my Bluetooth mouse. So if you also have a foldable keyboard, you can then prop this thing up and use it like a proper PC, just like that. Now you might be thinking, there's too much work to bring a Bluetooth mouse and a keyboard. Okay, that's fine. You probably don't even need the mouse. If you just have a Bluetooth keyboard, you can use your finger to navigate. Or some foldable keyboards will also have a trackpad already included. So yeah, this is a PC mode in a nutshell. And when you want to get out of PC mode, you just have to tap here, either go to exit, or to swipe out with three fingers again, it'll jump back to a smartphone UI. Okay, now to be honest, is PC mode an absolute game changer in terms of how you do work off the phone? Uh, probably not, because if you have a foldable phone, like even without PC mode, like a Galaxy Z Fold 2, 
or Huawei Mate X2, you can already do work, at least for me, I can already do work off of those devices because they both offer split screen multitasking. And for Huawei and Xiaomi phones, you can actually open apps in a floating resizable window already. PC mode does make it a little bit more beneficial because you can open three or four apps at the same time and the layout just resembles a desktop working space a little bit better. I think this PC mode is going to be exciting for the future because right now I find the 8 inch screen on the Fold Mix Fold is still a little bit small to do like real work. You know, I'm, I'm not young anymore. My eyes are going to be like, what the heck is that? But in the future, when foldable phone screens get even bigger, you know, maybe it can fold two times or three times or maybe it's a foldable and a rollable combining at once. So I can imagine you can take out something that's like maybe like the size of this, you know, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe like this big, you unfold it two times, then you have something like an 11, 12 inch screen. Then a PC mode desktop UI will work amazing on a larger screen like that. And that's my dream because, you know, I work on the go. I don't like being tied down to a single computer indoors. I like to go work at a coffee shop, go work at a park, go work at a beach. And I'm looking for a future where one day I just need to bring something like this and I can have myself a 12 inch screen to do work of. And also, even though Samsung right now doesn't have anything like this for Z Fold 2, if I have to guess, I, I would say I'm 90% sure the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is gonna have something like this built in. Because Samsung already has the UI, Samsung DeX. So it probably wouldn't take a lot of work for Samsung to implement DeX into Galaxy Z Fold 3. And I, and I know, you know, these brands, they compete. Samsung is seeing what Xiaomi and Huawei are doing. They're gonna do the same for the Z Fold 3, probably do it better to be honest, because Samsung is still the original innovator of the Fold. So the Z Fold 3, we can probably expect it to fold completely flush, just like the Mi X2. We can expect not much of a crease, just like the Mi X2, and we can probably expect a desktop mode, just like the Xiaomi Mi Mix Fold. And that's a good thing, when brands compete, we win. If Huawei and Xiaomi are not out here putting out foldable phones, Samsung can just sit back and relax and be a little bit lazy about it. But Samsung can't relax. They have to keep continually pushing forward because Huawei and Xiaomi also keep pushing forward. So anyway, yeah, that's about it for this video. I said it was going to be quick, but it probably end up being a little bit longer. I also wanted to test out my new shooting setup. I should be, I should be getting a much better background blur because this is a full frame camera with a better sensor so anyway that's it for now if you're interested in staying up to date with all the latest gadgets please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on instagram events gadget reviews that's it for now thanks for watching